spending some time with his basketball director of operations. To, in some cases, maybe the most important guy on this whole staff, at least as far as I'm concerned, because it gets me where I'm going. Keith Chesley's with us. Keith, how you doing, man? I'm doing very well. How about yourself? Fantastic. How, how have you transitioned? Have you been able to transition to Harrisonburg yet? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, honestly it was a little tricky uh, with everything going on, trying to find a place. Um, but me and my fiance, we we found a place, you know, and we've been up for you know three three four weeks now, probably. What are your impressions of James Madison University? And James Madison is an incredible place. Um, first off, Harrisonburg is, is awesome. Um, I, I didn't really know what to expect when you know I, I first drove into town and. Um, Looks like it'd be a lot of fun. Great, great college town. Great place to be. Um, you know, and James Madison is kind of you know the center of all that. And you know, the the resources that we have and the new arena and all the staff that I've met and everybody that I've talked to. You know, everyone's just super helpful and and you know everyone is super dedicated to to, to their athletics. I know you a little bit. Uh, you you graduated college in 2016, University of Maine at Augusta. You graduate the, the school's all-time leading scorer, but you also graduate a four-time academic All-American. Where did the academic side of things come for you? And you know that that I mean that kind of came from my parents. Um, it's kind of how I grew up. Um, it was always pretty important to me. Um, you know, it must have meant school wasn't that hard. You know, if I if I was an academic All-American, but. Uh, if um, you know, yeah, it was just important to me my whole life, um, and you know, something I worked hard at, something I cared about. And, you know, I had a lot of people along the way help me, and, and you know, it just it just kind of worked out that way. What about the basketball side of things? To, to, to finish it is anybody's all-time leading scorer is an accomplishment. So, who put a ball in your hands and first pushed you down that road? Man, that was that was definitely my dad. Um, I can. Man, I can remember being a little kid watching him playing in, in like men's leagues, um, and you know I just thought it was the coolest thing in the world to be able to you know go play basketball. And um, he actually coached varsity boys basketball when I was a little kid. Um, and honestly, all the way coming up through, he, he coached myself and my sister. And um, I was always at his practices and trying to jump in there with the old older kids. And it's just stuck ever since. You know, I just can't put it down. I can't stop. And, Obviously, that's you know kind of led me to this career. You know, I just can't put it down. As you know, when you're a student athlete, it, it's books, it's practice, it's games, it's the books, it's practice, it's the games, it's you know wash, rinse, repeat. So when you decided to get into coaching, was there an aspect of coaching that you really had no idea that went on because you were so busy as a student athlete focused on what you did? No question. Yeah, there was there was definitely aspects that I had no idea. Um, it took me a while. I, you know, I started at Florida State for two years, and that was that was great. You know, I, I learned so much in that amount of time. Um, Coach Hamilton and those guys, they, you know, they really kind of taught me, you know, what to expect and what to go forward with. And, um, you know, and, and and I learned so much from that experience. That there's so much that kind of goes into every day that. When I was a player, I didn't I didn't really understand, didn't really see. Sometimes I just you know rolled up and, and started playing and practice time to go. Um, but you know, and, and Coach Byington has also shown me a lot. You know, I, I keep learning every day from him and everybody on our staff. And you know, it, it's you're always learning something new. You, you can always get better and improve in, in a lot of areas. How did you make the connection from Maine to wind up at Florida State as a grad assistant? So I'm from a super tiny tiny town in, in, in central maine it's got like 2,000 people in it um and no no stoplight or anything so I, I knew i wanted to get into college coaching when i was playing um and i didn't know anybody i wasn't connected i you know i didn't, I didn't have a ton of connections um so i started working basketball camps when i was in college uh, i worked um you know three different summers i you know i drove all over the country i drove to Texas, I drove to Duke, I drove to Virginia, Florida State, um, you know, I drove everywhere trying to just make connections and, you know, build those relationships. Um, and, you know, after I graduated, I worked at Florida State um, and I just got lucky, you know, they needed a GA at the time. Um, I, I had been reaching out looking for some um, and, and, you know, I got lucky enough to get that spot and, you know, it's kind of just, just kept, kept going down the road. 
you mentioned that your fiance is here with you. Coaching is one of those professions where it's, it's, it can be brutal on a family life. How much have you talked with her about, here's what I really want to do, here's my overall goal. Are you sure you're ready for this? Yeah, I mean, we've been together a long time. Um, so we met in college and she um, she's great. You know, I couldn't do couldn't do any of this without her. She she knows my goal and we've kind of made it made it our goal, um, you know, trying to support each other in, in each of our careers. And, you know, while we're young, trying to make that kind of the, the focal point and try to push each other to be, you know, the best we can. Um, well, obviously, it's tough sometimes. And we, we spent a lot of time in different cities and different parts of the country. Um, but, you know, we, we made it work. And, well, we're getting married in, in August, hopefully. So uh, hopefully everything's still going off. So, um, we'll, yeah, she's great. I couldn't ask for anybody better. Properly scheduled outside of uh, any basketball obligations, I see. Exactly. That was my point. <laughs> Let, let's talk about your role. Uh, some fans and folks don't really understand the director of basketball operations because there's there's levels to this, there's magnitude to it. So describe it for us, what, what your day-to-day -day is going to be and how you're going to be assisting and benefiting Jamie Mint basketball. Yeah, you know, what I like a lot about my job, probably the thing I like the most is that every day is a little bit different. Um, you know, I act as a kind of a go-between between between a lot of people, um, whether that's, you know, facilities or um, scheduling or, you know, kind of our administration, academics, um, pretty much, I'm forgetting some, you know, but uh, everything kind of behind the scenes, um, you know, is what I deal with. Try to keep us organized. Um, uh, you know, I'm in charge of our travel, getting us from point A to point B during the season, um, you know, scheduling our practice and, you know, kind of all the, all the stuff in between the games is, is kind of what I control a little bit. So. I don't know if that was exactly what you're looking for, but. Yeah, and definitely the holder of the hotel keys when we, when we get into a city. You're the guy that I going to tell me where to go and how to get there. <laughs> I'll have your hotel key. Don't worry. It, it's an interesting job, though, I, I think, from a standpoint of, of the layers that you do have. And there is so much to keep up with. And I know you worked with Coach Byington last year. Why is it important or how is it important for uh, a Dobo and a head coach to be on the same page? How does that benefit you when you know your head coach as well as you do? Man, that helps a lot. Um, you know, when I first started working with Coach Byington, um, I, I had to have been driving him crazy with the number of questions I kept asking him, how, how he wanted things, you know, what time he wanted to do practice, um, you know, where he wanted to stay, you know, everything, you know, is was – me asking coach Byington questions um you know and now that i'm you know we know each other and we have you know a good relationship you know, i don't have to ask him as many questions i kind of uh, you know I, I think i know what he wants and you know obviously i still run stuff by him but you know um you know we worked hard at it you have to communicate all the time you know we still you know are, are having to communicate every day on on you know multiple different things but um, you know, he's great at that. So he, he, he's unbelievably organized and, you know, he, he does a great job. What do you like to do in your spare time when you have some? Obviously, we've had a lot of downtime with, with the quarantine, but through a normal procedure, when you have some downtime, what do you like to do? Yeah, yeah that's uh, downtime. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I like to just spend some time. You know, I really, I'm very close to my family. I like to spend time talking with my family. Um, I like to get home, I like to cook, you know, I like to get on the grill, um, kind of be outside, and, um, you know, anything that I can do outside, um, you know, I really enjoy. I'm looking forward to hiking a little bit here in Harrisonburg. It uh, looks like there's a lot of great places. I went a couple weekends ago um, and it was awesome. So looking forward to do that kind of thing. We're all looking forward to getting the season started and of course working closer with you. E. Chesley, Director of Basketball Operations at JMU Men's Basketball. Thanks for your time today. We appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you face-to-face -face very soon. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much.